Hello everyone. A lot of people ask me a question. How do you organize your test runs? How do you run some tests quickly on pull requests? And what do you do about running all the tests? So I want to show you an example. I have this repository. It has to do MVC with a bunch of tests. Let me show it in VS Code. I have my main test, my counter, everything kind of arranged by an area or a feature of application. Here's how I run the test in this repository. When someone opens a pull request, and let's open a pull request, and while it runs, we'll discuss it. So I will open a new branch, and I'll create a new commit. I will push the code to GitHub, and then I'll open a PR. OK, so what happens on GitHub? Here's my workflow and I see I have a couple of workflows in this repository. So this workflow named PR runs on pull requests. Okay, this is what we opened. In this PR, this workflow PR, we use Cypress GitHub action. And the first thing we do, we run all the smoke tests. There could be a lot of tests in your project. And usually when you open PR, if something goes terribly wrong, then all the tests will fail or majority will fail. So you don't want that. You want to quickly run just the smoke set the tests across a bunch of features. Just make sure PR is not terribly broken. So this is the purpose of this job test step. So GitHub Action from Cypress will install everything, cache everything, starts the server, waits for the server to respond, and then it runs just the smoke test. And notice that right here, I'm passing an environment variable to Cypress using parameter, and I'm saying grep for tags at smoke. So this is using Cypress grep plugin that I wrote, and I tag bunch of tests with a tag smoke. So the purpose of this pull request workflow is to run just those tests across all the spec files. And I'm also recording this on Cypress dashboard. Notice that I'm giving it a group and I'm giving it a tag so that I can easily find the results on the dashboard. If everything is correct, if all the smoke tests pass, then we can run all end-to-end -end tests. So again, I'm using Cypress GitHub action. I don't have to install anything because everything has been installed already. I'm starting the server. I'm waiting for it to respond. And then I just run everything. And I'm again, I'm recording on the dashboard and I'm giving it a group name. So logically, those two recordings will go on the same logical dashboard run, but it will create two groups. And notice, just so they are ordered correctly in the dashboard, I'm giving it a number right here so that alphabetically, the groups are in the same order. So let's see how it actually worked on the PR. So notice there is a check. Let's show all the checks. The name of a PR, workflow PR, the name of a test job, there is only one test job in that workflow, and the event that triggered it for request. And if I go into the details, I see all the steps from the workflow. I see the smoke tests installed, Cypress and npm module started the server and running for spec files and the tag is smoke and the group everything from the workflow file parameters is here and notice that because only a few tests are tag smoke majority of tests are pending they didn't run but only a few ones the main ones from different areas actually were executed so let's look at the dashboard run. Okay, so this is the latest run, right? Now the title is what GitHub you know, gives us, right? The, this is a pull request, so it actually tested a merge of a pull request commit into the main branch or commit. So that's why there are like two shots. And if we look at specs view, we can see that the first group ran just the smoke test. Right, this is what we looked at smoke test, everything passed, and then it ran all end to end tests, and we gave it the name all test. And notice that here 26 
tests were pending, that means they were not executed. We know about this because this is how Cypress Grep works, and only five smoke tests ran. And when we ran all the tests, then all 31 tests executed and finished correctly. So this looks like this is a good PR. Let's merge it. So now it went into the main branch. And if we look at our workflows, I have another workflow that runs only on push to the main branch, nothing else. This one is a simpler workflow. We just check out all the files. We again use Cypress GitHub action, but there is only one step here because we just want to run all the tests, just like we ran all the tests on a pull request. And the only other thing I'm doing is I'm giving it a group name and a tag so I can easily find this later in the dashboard. Okay, so this is running. Notice CI all test on push. So it's running all the tests. And if I go to latest run, right, I can see now a nice commit name from the GitHub repository, all the specs. And right now, this is receiving results from app spec file, which is right here. Okay, so this will or should finish with all the tests passing. And the group name is set. And those tags that I gave, right, the smoke main, allow me to easily find those particular runs with the tag present from Cypress dashboard. So this is how I organize my workflows so that I can quickly validate pull requests and run all the tests where appropriate.